What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach and Kellen. And today we are out here in a brand new construction neighborhood. You guys know we do a lot of new construction. And not only do we do the industry leading best home theaters out there, but we offer a lot of other services. Yeah, that's right. I mean, if you want a TV hung above a fireplace, you need the mount, you need HDMI cables, security cameras, distributed audio, Sonos amps, patio speakers, uh, pool speakers, networking, networking, access points, bolt cable. Yeah, you don't want to rely on just that one single modem router combo that the internet company is going to give you. Simple things like this that are going to improve your quality of life, guys, we have you covered from the most basic things like mounting the TV on the wall to sophisticated home theaters. So we're going to go into this home right here and show you an example of one of our customers. Come on in. If you don't know what you're doing, leave it to people who do. Here at Dream Media, we have a lot of experience over the years with working with builders and different ways that you can wire the house and it's really important that you consult with our guys and go through as many details as possible because little things like this there's options you know we can do all three of these speakers right here across the top here or you can do your front left and right and we can do a sound bar up underneath the tv um, personally I always like to have the audio, the dialogue coming from the television, you know, where you're watching. So if somebody's talking to you on the TV or, you know, you're watching a scene, you really want it coming from right here at the TV. But you also got to factor in that WAF, wife approval, right? Um, so a lot of people will put the center up here, even though it's not lining up right with the TV, just because it's clean. You know, you're not going to see any of the speakers. So... A lot of different options to choose from. We'll be able to find out here in just a minute once we see what's behind this plate, what type of speaker he needs, what his options are gonna be. If that is one speaker wire and there's attic access here, I'm gonna recommend that we go ahead and run another speaker wire uh, to maximize the performance of the system. Our sales consultant did sell the appropriate speaker um, it's basically two speakers in one. It's designed for smaller spaces, or if you don't want to have the footprint of two speakers on the ceiling, you put in one. It's really good for like bathrooms and closets and uh, spaces like that, or even in here. See how many cam lights are up there, guys? You know, if you don't want the clutter of two speakers, one is great. We're just gonna pull it down, take a peek. One, but, Let's check out the conductor. So it's a two conductor. That is uh, what I was afraid of. You guys can see right in here, we just got two wires, 16 two shielded wire. So yeah, let's go see if we can look in, find some attic access up here and see what our options are like. Let's go explore and see if it's possible to get another line from here to there. Well, if you're getting a new house, get it pre-wired and you should probably know a lot more than I did when you tell them to pre-wire it because I would have done some things differently or have them do some things differently. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, you should, if you don't know what you're doing, leave it to people who do know what they're doing, which is why I called y'all because this is not my area of expertise. And uh, I can, obviously I can trust you guys to do the job, right? Because you know what you're doing. Yeah, see, so if you, if you hook these two speakers up, you're gonna hear like a singer here and the guitar here, right. you know what I mean? So right there is the hallway and that's the vent in the ceiling in the hallway, right? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is a floor right above where that speaker wire was ran. Yep. We made another video yesterday, guys, on pre-wiring and uh, this is why pre-wiring is really important. Consult with our team at no cost and just make sure your builder's doing it right. Yep. We've dealt with this in the past. We have solutions. Do not worry. Yeah, this is ideal. This is what you want. You want the separation and channel of stereo audio. Like a lot of the time, you're not watching movies in this room, right? You you got the news on or you know TV shows. And if you're like cooking, as soon as you turn that vent on, she can't hear anymore. So you go in, into the Heos app and you just crank up that particular speaker 
and then you don't have to blare this room. One really cool thing about Heos is that you have that independent zone control. Mm -hmm. So with Heos the drive. yeah, with the Heos drive, that is going to give you four zones of independent zone control. And then you have the Heos soundbar, which is cool because it has the built-in Heos. Yeah. So you'll have a total of five different zones where you can independently stream the music. Right. The Denon 2700 is a 7.2 receiver, so it'll power all the speakers in this room. And you're just doing the one sub or do you have another sub as well? Just one. Okay. The SB1000 back there, the Denon is going to give you one zone control for this entire room through the Heos app. And then this is going to, this is rack mountable too. See the little mm -hmm. rack here? So you can use that rack that I was talking about to bolt that in mm -hmm. and set the AVR on. Um, that will power up patio, master bath, um, your dining office area, and then your kitchen all independent. So you can group together if you're watching TV in here, all of those rooms, mm -hmm. or you can play complete independent content in every single room, like awesome. movie here, football game everywhere else, or you could do football Sunshine game. Patio. Yep, rock and roll in there. Total of six zones technically with the sound bar where you'll be able to independently Once play the music. Once you familiar with the EOS app, it's so far it's great. Easy yeah, to just move stuff around and yeah. cast to it and all that stuff. Yeah, Make groups of rooms and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It yeah. looks yeah. great. Without the Slim XL, what, what is he currently planning to do for a center speaker? Right here. Okay, so that is a speaker. But it's not wired. That's the problem. Well, so it would either be here where it is wired. If, if it, it is, which that would be not good. Yeah, they could try good. to drill through the subfloors and get it over here. Worst case, if they can't do that, I would just have a backup plan. So is there? Which, or which I mean, speakers are already specified for the center? Right here. Oh. Yeah. This is going to get better life approval. That's going to give you better performance. Yeah. Open so up. the HTs just means it has the built-in 30 degree angle. Uh huh. So you would project those four in the left, right, center. You also have three. It's kind of confusing. So it's it's the instead of the IC6 HT, it's the ST, which stands for stereo. stereo. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So you have you have both models, which are correct. So these are ICs right here, and I mentioned the other box. IC6. Those so are these go right, right here. In these four. Okay. Everything we're using is Martin Logan, and then over so here. So the front three are HDs. Yes. Correct. Yep. Yeah, because they're aimable. And I'm aimable. high frequency audio travels line of sight. If you're uh -huh. firing at the floor, by the time it reaches your ear, you're like, what? <laughs> There's nothing better than a dedicated yeah. center speaker. Yeah. You, you want a dedicated center speaker. That's if you, the wife doesn't want a TV speaker below the TV or whatever. But. Yeah. It's always better to have a dedicated If you can speaker. convince your wife to do the center speaker below the TV, that would be awesome. And I think since you have the long opening back there, that'd be the easiest way to go. She likes music and she loves to watch movies. She doesn't um, care to know anything about how sound is, how it works or speaker systems or any of that. She just doesn't want it to, all over the place. She wants hit things hidden behind walls, doesn't want to look at it. She just wants to hear it when she watches the movie. So um, with, with those caveats in place, she, she was like, do whatever you want. Sweet. So I'm like, bet. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's nice. And then it's, a, it's an on wall. Uh -huh. This then will be just a stick to the TV, but then you would, our guys would just literally mount it directly below the TV oh, so it looks like a continuation of it. Right. First of all, I mean, just getting the house is exciting enough, but then walking in, having it all um, pre-wired, and um, I've never specced out or never had a, an AV system like this before. And uh, so yeah, when the boxes started arriving, I'm going, oh my God, this is gonna be, wow. I mean, it's gonna be really great. I've never had exterior speakers on a house before. So I mean, that's gonna be, I can't wait. <laughs> that's ideal. Whenever I'm watching a movie, I like to see and hear where the dialogue is coming from. Yeah. That's all points around that. Absolutely. When it's up here, it's a little weird. That was just, it, we've done it quite a I understand why they did it, sort of, but yeah. Yeah, when I first walked in, I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, the guys that are wiring these homes, they're home builders. They're not audio video specialists. Sure. Absolutely. You know, they do their best. Sure, sure, but, sure, sure. But that's why we're here. It makes me feel better that everything's going to go smoothly. Um, I think it's, if, if, if. Y'all hadn't shown up and, and, and looked at everything. Um, I, on inst the installation probably would have hit some snags and probably would have been a little bit of head scratching and 
okay, how are we gonna make this work? This is designed specifically, it's a mono speaker. So it's, 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 number one, it's reassuring, and number two, well, both in that everything's gonna go smoothly and that I've got the right equipment here. So it just, it, it just overall makes me feel better that, that things are gonna go well. Guys, as you can see, you know, we have a couple little things that the builder didn't do the customer right on. That just goes to show how important it is that you consult with my guys through the entire process. You know, like, right, look at this house over here. You see the, how it's in the framing stage? Right then, if you're building a house, get on a FaceTime with Kellen, Dave, or one of our other guys, and we will physically look at every single wire before they put the sheetrock up and say, uh-uh, don't put that sheetrock up. We're missing a wire here. Right. And then issues like this don't happen. Um, but, we're always on, you know, thinking of solutions on the fly. So we came up with a great solution. Guys are gonna come, come and uh, put it in for him. He is gonna do that Slim XL, which I think he's really gonna be happy with the clarity and the dialogue that firing straight ahead um, and being lined up with the TV. But yeah, it's, it's gonna be an exciting project, guys. So stay tuned and uh, whenever it's finished, we'll show you guys the update. He's a cool dude, man. I like him. Yeah. We just have the best customers, all of them. Made one call. And uh, I believe her name was Nicole or Nikki, uh, gave me a call and said, yeah, we'll put you in touch with, uh, with Dave Working and uh, talk to him and he'll get your system spec'd out. Talking to Dave is really easy. Dave obviously knows what he's doing. He's been doing this for a long time. And um, no, really happy with the whole experience. It was super simple. It was really easy.